Singapore boasts one of the best rapid transport systems in the world, cutting edge, comprehensive and reliable. The Mass Rapid Transit System, or MRT, is a model of efficiency. Since it was launched a quarter of a century ago, the Singapore MRT network has grown rapidly to four lines. And now a fifth line is underway. The new downtown line is a 42-kilometer long line with 34 stations. When completed in 2017, this fully underground line is expected to handle more than half a million rides daily. It will be built in three stages. In March 2009, McConnell Dowell Southeast Asia Private Limited was awarded the design and construction of the Beauty World Station and tunnels for Downtown Line Stage 2. The Beauty World Station is one of 12 stations along the 16.6 km long Downtown Line Stage 2. For McConnell Dowell, the scope of the project involves the design and construction of two MRT tunnels, the design and construction of the new Beauty World Underground Station, including station entrances, subway links, architectural finishes and external landscaping. To execute the project, McConnell Dowell engaged specialist design consultants for both temporary and permanent works designs, including extensive road and drainage diversions, electrical and mechanical, specialist tunnel and geotechnical designs. The Beauty World Station and Tunnels project involves the construction of several major structural elements. They are board tunnels, lawn shaft, station box, crossover tunnel, and entrance structure. In addition, the Beauty World Station lies along Upper Bukit Tima Road and is surrounded by shopping centers and established residential areas. Because of this, Extensive utility and traffic diversions are required both before and during the construction of these structural elements. This complex operation involves diverting traffic from Bukitima Road onto temporary structures that span over the main station box and cross over structures during construction. Made of structural steel decking beams and panels and a composite concrete beam structure, these temporary diversion structures not only allow vehicles and pedestrians to be diverted, they also serve as a working platform at grade level for construction equipment. In addition, an existing culvert runs through the proposed station construction area. To allow this existing culvert to continue to function, a completely new culvert was constructed and temporary twin pipes will be eventually suspended above the station during excavation works. The excavation of a launch shaft was central to the project. The launch shaft will allow for the installation, assembly and excavation of the board tunnels. It will also serve as an interface connection between the board tunnels and the station structure. To construct the launch shaft, excavation work was required. The soil was excavated using telescopic excavator and conventional muck skips. With rock strength measuring 200 megapascals, the rock excavation required initial breaking techniques involving controlled blasting chemical splitting, hydraulic splitting, an excavator hammer breaking. Within the internal perimeter of the secant board pile shaft walls, temporary steel struts were erected to ensure lateral stability as the force on the shaft walls ranged from 3,500 kilonewtons to 14,000 kilonewtons. This strutting involved whaler beams around the internal perimeter, diagonal steel struts at each corner, lateral steel struts in the center span of the shaft. There were four levels of strutting. The first level provided by concrete and the other three levels created from 700 tons of steel. Extensive instrumentation was installed to monitor the movements of the secant board pile. The force exerted on the struts and the adjacent building settlements, lateral movements and building rotation. The instruments include
also, a series of recharge wells was installed to alleviate the impact of groundwater seepage. To meet the tight deadline for the project, several key activities were carried out at the project site concurrently. With this, safety became a paramount concern, particularly as the site involved the operation of large cranes and heavy piling rigs. To ensure complete safety, working areas were sealed off from the public, with public traffic and pedestrians diverted to paths adjacent to the site. To ensure minimal disruption to road users, local businesses and the public, the McConnell Dowell construction team engaged in extensive, detailed consultation with key stakeholders and public authorities prior to the commencement of construction work. The prevailing geological conditions at the site also meant that a host of processes had to be established to efficiently extract and dispose of excavated material, which include soft soils such as silts and clays, and Bukit Tima granite. For the excavation of the bored tunnels, a slurry treatment plant was established within the site yard area. This plant is able to handle 1,000 tons of excavated material per day. To support the retaining earth, secant board piles were installed. This is an interlocking system of soft and hard concrete piles that are 1.2 meters and 900 millimeters in diameter. During the installation, guide walls were constructed. Casings made of steel tubes were then rotated into the ground with the use of rotary tools mounted to a piling rig or by a frame-mounted rotating device. Casings were generally bored to rock head level. Following that, spoil was excavated out from the bore using rock and soil buckets with cutting tools. No drilling fluids such as bentonite or polymer were used, which meant that congestion in the work area was reduced due to no requirement for large bentonite treatment plants. The soft piles were placed first. This was followed by the hard piles, which were cut into the soft piles to create an interlock. Managing congestion was critical during the project as the site areas were very small. By using rotating devices to install casings instead of noisy piling rigs, congestion was minimized, vibration and noise was also reduced and work activities could be extended beyond normal working hours. To ensure a safe and efficient work area, the McConnell Dowell site construction team continually reviewed the site setup and work processes throughout the project. At all stages of the project, Traffic flow along the existing Bukit Tima Road had to remain uninterrupted and access to local businesses and commercial centers unimpeded. This required a highly complicated arrangement of temporary traffic diversions through and around the site area. To develop the diversion program, the McConnell Dowell team held a series of consultation sessions with the client, the Land Transport Authority, the police, a host of public transport and emergency services providers as well as community leaders. In the end, 10 major road diversion plans were drawn up, with each planned diversion accompanied by a critical safety review and an extensive analysis of traffic and pedestrian flow. The result was an optimal scheme that delivers a smooth, safe and orderly flow of traffic despite the extensive station and tunneling works. The project involves the construction of two MRT tunnels, each measuring one kilometer in length. Two state-of-the-art tunnel boring machines will be employed in the construction of the tunnels to handle a variety of geographical conditions ranging from full-face soil and mixed ground to full-face rock, mixed shield tunnel boring machines were selected. The tunnel boring machines were designed and manufactured by Herrenescht of Germany in close consultation with McConnell Dowell's engineering team. The tunnel boring machines will utilize bentonite slurry as the drilling medium. Excavation will be supported by a surface-mounted slurry treatment plant. The Beauty World Station and Tunnels
a testament to McConnell Dowell's commitment to deliver flawless and efficient safety management and engineering solutions.